Good morning and welcome to Adult Story Time this morning. For the summer and during summer reading program, we've had a request to go back and take stories from the book Fractured Fairy Tales. So that's what we're doing. Today's story is um, the story Beauty and the Beast. And the stories in this book are stories as told by A.J. Jacobs and they were featured on the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. So today's story Beauty and the Beast. Once upon a time, there was a magnificent golden castle on a silver cloud high up in the sky, which has nothing to do with anything because our story is about an old woodchopper who lived in a shack. But that's a good way to start a fairy tale. The old man was very happy, but he had a daughter who was very unhappy because, well, she was rather plain. Actually, she was really plain. In fact, she had a face like five miles of bad road. Anyway, it was time for her to marry, but because she was so fat and ugly, none of the young men of the kingdom ever came to ask for her hand, or any other part of her body for that matter. Then one day, the old man decided to cheer her up. Child, it is your birthday, and I've brought you something to keep you from being so lonely. A man? She asked, wide-eyed. Nope. A mule. He pointed to a brown, furry, four-legged, grunting beast. Well, mule wasn't exactly the kind of companion she had in mind, but at least it was somebody to talk to. Hi there, silly beast, said the girl to the mule. I wonder if you were once a handsome prince changed into a mule by a wicked witch. If so, I could break the spell with a kiss. She smacked the mule right on its lips. It was no use. The mule was a mule and had always been a mule. The next day, the old man instructed his daughter to take a bundle of sticks into the village. A bundle of sticks, she asked him. What for? How should I know, said the old mule. But somebody is always carrying a bundle of sticks around in fairy tales. You know that. So the young girl took the bundle of sticks and decided to ride her trusty mule into the village. But something very strange happened. Unknown to her, the moment she climbed into the mule's back, poof, she turned into a beautiful maiden. You know the type, blonde hair, blue eyes, a figure like she spends her days doing jazzercise. Anyway, when she reached the village, she could hardly believe her eyes. For all the young men, instead of laughing and throwing mud at her, bowed, tipped their hats, and made catcalls. She was still trying to figure it out when a handsome young prince rode up to her on a snow-white horse. Ah, fair lady, he exclaimed, you are truly the most lovely beauty in the land. Why, my young prince, she replied, batting her eyes, are you nuts or something? With your permission, said the prince, I should like to call on you tonight. How about when the clock strikes the hour of eightish? Flushed with excitement, the girl raced home, but when she arrived and stepped off her mule, poof, she immediately returned to her fat little ugly self. That night, promptly at eightish o'clock, the prince sitting astride his white charger knocked on the door. The girl opened the door and smiled her crooked tooth smile, one that made chopped yak liver seem appealing and chirped, hello. Um, said the prince, who at that moment was desiring a bit of Pepto-Bismol or that medieval equivalent. Is your sister at home? I don't have a sister, the girl said. Your aunt, then, the prince said. I don't have an aunt. Your cousin, your best friend, your babysitter? What are you talking about, asked the girl. I live here alone with my father. The prince, figuring he had found the wrong house, galloped quickly off on his white steed. The poor girl was left standing at the door, broken-hearted and trying to understand what had gone wrong. The following day, her father again asked her to go to the village, this time to pick up a bundle of sticks. It'll take your mind off your ugliness, the old man said, patting her kindly on the head. No sooner had the girl climbed on the mule's back when, poof, once again she changed into a beautiful maiden. On the way to the village, she chanced to pass a clear, still pool of water. Looking into it, she saw her reflection and was shocked to see she was now very beautiful. She hopped off her mule for a close look and poof, instantly she changed back into her former ugly self. And then 
she suddenly realized what had happened. I get it now, she said out loud to no one in particular, as people in fairy tales sometimes do. This is a magic mule. As long as I sit on this beast, I'm beauty. The girl jumped back onto the mule and poof, beautiful again. And the beauty and the beast dashed to find the prince. When he saw her coming, he rode up to her on his gallant steed. Ah, oh, lovely beauty, he said, I have found you again. Please say you will be mine so that we may be married. Yes, but on one condition, she said, that I remain on this mule at all times. Of course, this seemed like a strange request, but the prince agreed. So be it, my love, he said, and so that we start off on the right foot or on the right hoof, I shall stay on my horse as long as you stay on your mule. And thus they were married by a priest who delivered the sermon on a donkey. As the years went by, the young girl was very happy, although the poor mule did get a bit of a backache. And true to his word, the prince also stayed on his horse. And as any good husband would, he took her dancing every Saturday night at the palace, where they were the most striking couple on the dance floor, or actually the most striking quadruple on the dance floor. One day, the girl rode into the garden. Whoosh! The wind blew off her bonnet. Not stopping to think, she hopped off her mule to get the hat and poof! She immediately turned into the ugly, disgusting hag again. Realizing her mistake, she scrambled to get back in the saddle again, but it was too late, for just then the prince rode up. Pardon me, old hag, said the prince. Have you seen my wife? Wait a minute. This is her mule. Yes, blushed the hag, gulping, and I am your wife. She began to sadly confess the whole story to her husband. But instead of being angry, he did an amazing thing. He clapped his hands and laughed for joy. This is what he said. Ha, 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 yahoo, yippee. I don't get it, said the girl. Are you happy to find out that I'm really ugly? No, said the prince. I'm happy to know that I can finally get off this blasted horse. You see, I'm only a handsome prince when I stay on him. And with that, the prince hopped off his horse and poof, he changed into one of the ugliest men ever to walk the earth. He was fat and short and bald and full of warts. His face looked like 10 miles of bad road. Ugh, you're uglier than me, said the girl with glee. We were meant for each other, said the man as they embraced. Just think, no more saddle sores. And so the ugly man and the ugly girl were able to live happily ever after, which only goes to prove that a mule and his honey are soon parted. And that's today's story time. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Until then, stay safe, be healthy, and have a wonderful week.